there's so much uh, obviously popular uh, resentment and and disgust about how that whole situation, uh, not just in terms of labor issues, but generally environmental and otherwise, has been handled. That it's the kind of thing that could build a kind of popular support among students and otherwise, uh, which which I think is necessary to revitalize mm. the labor movement more. Uh, broadly, I mean, the most effective period of growth and and also of, of political effectiveness for the labor movement was coming out of a period in the 1930s where you have a real kind of dynamic workers' movement, which you don't really see today in a similar way. And 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 the 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 setting of the Gulf could provide that uh, context. And I think that this is part of the rights continued assault on organized labor as. Uh, one of the key legs of the uh, the Democratic Party, as well as just for uh, any sort of movement against corporate control. I think what we're seeing... What was the truth, though, behind what he said? Well, the truth is that unions are not involved in the Gulf cleanup effort at all. Uh, it's a non-union state, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. Unions are non-existent. Uh, all the uh, workers that are hired by BP are private, con private subcontractors.